build your house. See, because people are going, see, Israel, we're not going to come together. Right? Israel ain't coming together. Israel ain't unified. Right? And what you don't realize, because you're so myopic, because your perception is so myopic, right? How much unity there is. There's unity in one cause. Work. Mm -hmm. We at Zakari are in unison with IUIC. In June! Ain't no Michael Jackson! We at Zakari are in unison with IUIC. Too much study. Too much study has made you crazy, bug out. In June! Ain't no Michael! Believe it or not, companies have already started microchipping employees. You know why? Because we both realize work, 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 work. Watchmen, House of Israel, Sons of Thunder, Light of Zion, Unison. Why? Work. The prioritization of the work. Do the work. Work, 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 work. We don't have to stand next to each other. We don't have to all be at the same campsite in order for us to be in one mind that we need to work. In order us to understand the goal in which we are trying to accomplish. Right? Repentance, conversion, salvation. Because if we lead our people to repentance, we facilitate their conversion, that leads to our salvation. Uh, that leads to the manifestation of the return of Hamashiach Yahweh to this earth. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 6 in the NLT. And now, dear brothers and sisters, we give you this command in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Stay away from all believers who live idle lives and don't follow the tradition they received from us. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Harachah Kodash for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and sincerity. They steered us well and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. This is the brother Zion coming at you with a quick hitter to feed the lambs through the Holy Spirit. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and to the point. Okay. And in this lesson, we are going to get into continuing what you have been taught. Man. Okay, continuing what you have been taught. All right, and you must continue what you have been taught. Okay, because Abba Bevins, all the way down to Elder Apostle Tahar, all the way on down, they haven't taught us to teach with no damn hat on, man. They haven't taught us to teach with no hoodie on and a hat on, man. They ain't teach us that. They don't even say in the Bible to teach with a hat on. A man got to have his head uncovered, man. All right, because he dishonoreth his head. You understand? Okay, and he's so big on unity, 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 unity. First of all, that old Hebrew unity with all of these camps, that ain't nothing but a damn pipe dream, man. Okay, that ain't nothing but a pipe dream. The Lord said that we all must speak the same thing, man. All right, we got 1 Corinthians chapter 1. In verse 10, now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, that ye all speak the same thing. You hear that? You must speak the same thing, man. Okay? That don't mean that this brother believe this, this brother believe that, this brother don't even believe that over there. He believes something only, you know, something totally bugged out. You all must speak the same thing, man. Okay, it's like the movie Drumline, all right? One band, one sound, man. Okay, and that is what we are required because a lot of these Israelites, they just want this whole Hebrew family reunion where they just be happy to see another Israelite, man. Cut it out. Cut it out. What did Yahweh say? Now I beseech you, brethren, 
by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach, that ye, you, us, Israelites, all, not half, not some, but all, speak the same thing. What's so hard about that? One band, one sound. What's so hard about that? Why do we have to keep coming back to these uh to these same lessons because Jake can't understand the first lesson we done did, so we gotta rebuke him and then come on man. We are not to fellowship with these type of people if they don't speak the same thing. All right. And that there be no divisions among you. You see, one camp believe that the mark is spiritual. The other camps believe that the mark is physical. And the other camp, they believe it's physical, but they don't push it. And the other one, they believe that everybody done got the mark. And then, you know what I'm saying, man, this camp think that that the knowledge of sin is in the forehead and the right hand is the action behind it. That's fucking confusion, man. That's division. No one is on one accord. No one is speaking the same thing. There isn't a sound doctrine. Do you understand? All right. Point blank period. I don't know what's so hard about that. But that ye be perfectly, what? Perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. And that's how we can identify who is a false prophet and who is a true man of the Lord based off your doctrine. It's all about doctrine. We don't give a fuck about your personal life, but you can tell by by the way uh, Alizé is teaching. It's a money grab, man. Okay? You think a Hebrew Israelite group Ain't going to get 501c3, man. You can tell. Look at look at what they're doing. They calling on Jeepers Creepers. They calling on Jeebus. They calling on uh, Christus, man. All right? Money grab. That's all I hear with these niggas, man. Okay? And they want to talk about this unity thing. That ain't nothing but some fancy nigga words because he didn't say nothing about doctrine. He only talking about just coming together like a damn Hebrew fucking barbecue, man. What about what you teaching? What about the Israelites that's trying to learn, that's trying to get the right edification? What about them? In what manner are all holy conversation ye ought to be, man? Roughly paraphrasing. Where your priorities at? It's that money, man. And the dollar about to crash, too. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 6 in the NLT. And now, dear brothers and sisters, we give you this commandment. You hear that? This is a commandment, all right? In the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, stay away from all believers who live idle lives and don't follow the tradition they receive from us, right? And all these other camps, all right? including Nate and all that, because Nate was actually with Elder Apostle Tahar in, back in the day, all right, in One West, okay? So Nate already, you know what I'm saying? He he know better. Zabak, too. Zabak was with Elder Apostle Tahar, too, back in the day, before the split. And then when the split happened, everyone went their separate ways. And some people took the bag. But Elder Apostle Tahar did not. And if anybody said that Elder Apostle Tahar and the Elder Apostles took a bag, you going off, man. Because they ain't take no goddamn bag. This truth is free. They taught us this truth in sincerity, man. And all truth. They just got a personal problem with us. You know, but the Lord says what? Stay away from all believers who live idle lives and don't follow the tradition they receive from us. 
Do you understand that? You hear me? All right. For you know that you ought to imitate us. We are not idle when we are with you. We, you, do you understand that? We were, we were not idle when we were with you. So you can't be idle towards the flock. And all those people that follow Gorilla Hebrew, they going to die, man. Do you know how much blood these other camps got on their fucking hands, man? They got so much blood on their hands, bro. Okay? And they got to give account for that in the day of judgment. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Do you understand that? Okay. Continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. We didn't learn to have a hat on our motherfucking head when we teach. We didn't learn to say Christ and Jesus. We didn't learn in this truth, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, fellowship with, uh, you know what I'm saying? With with individuals that don't speak the same thing. We was told to avoid them. We was taught the truth. We was taught the doctrine. We was taught Yahweh Shai. We was taught to keep the testimonies of Yahweh Shai with the spirit of prophecy, man. Teaching the words of Yahweh Shai. Teaching the 100% doctrine and truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That is what we have been taught. We haven't been taught nothing else. The 100% truth from the elder apostles, man. All right? But continue thou in the things which thou has learned and has been assured of. And how can you assure something? By it being in the scriptures. Those receipts. You see, how in the hell can the forehead be the knowledge of the sin and the right hand is the action behind it? Your wall, your all from Sons of Thunder, I need that precept. Where is it? It's not in there. Money grab. Knowing of whom thou has learned them and the f and. And that from a child, thou has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All scripture is given by the inspiration of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and is profitable for doctrine. Do you understand? Doctrine, what you're teaching, what they're teaching is not profitable. It's profitable for their pockets, but it ain't profitable for salvation. You get what I'm saying? For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Perfect. Do you understand? Perfect. It ain't no way around it. All right. Continue in what you have been learned. And maybe somebody can get saved through you. You ever thought about that? Romans chapter 16 and verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. For, for they that are such serve not our power, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Work, 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 work. We got to put in the work, and then Yahawashah is going to come back. Bro, it's all about what you teaching. We already know you. Faith, faith without works is dead. We already know that. But you trying to talk around what you teaching, though. And that's going to get a lot of people fucked up around here, man. You know? Yahabashim Shimon already ready to bring the judgment. 
So you just going to take them down with you, Alizé? Getting them drunk off that Sakari doctrine, man? You know? You got a lot of blood on your hands, man. WFI too. All of these camps, man. If you ain't GMS, you ain't got the 100% truth. I said it. Do something. Sue me. If you ain't GMS, you ain't got the 100% uh, uh, truth. If you ain't the like-minded brethren up under GMS, you ain't got the 100% truth. Why? Because we are learning from the elder apostles, man. That You know what I'm saying? The 100% truth is on the earth. The Bible, the whole scripture contains the 100% truth. So if you say that you don't have the 100% truth, then you're not a man of the Lord, a true man of the Lord. It is what it is. What's so hard about that? What's so hard about that? Because the elect is going to come out of the bug outs. The elect is going to come out of these other camps. And they're going to know we're home, man. You understand? So Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying to the point. I want to give the glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Haracha Akwadash for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and sincerity. They steered us well and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. We on the next one. Abaratazah. Shalom.